Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. You don't play favorites though, right? Which is why we don't think you should own it. We'll give you 10 minutes and back and sell off. What is this all about? Next! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Let me guess, you're expecting St. Peter? No, uh, uh, well, yeah, I guess, right? They, they usually tell you St. Peter at the gate. Yeah, we, uh, we had to let him go. Oh, uh, well, what happened? Ah, <sighs> uh, he was, uh, there's no easy way to say this. Uh, he was texting a 15-year-old. Oh, God. Yeah, it's... Really bad. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm still a little freaked out. Like no, know, that's understandable. This I literally mean, just happened. Like I just found this out. And yeah, wow. I've known this guy for for millennia. I've literally known him for millennia. And it's like you think you know somebody. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean. All right. No. All right. Sorry. Let's uh, let's get to you. Yeah, you know, it's it, it's literally a two thousand year age gap, right? Like, what are you doing? Disgusting. Ah, uh, sorry. I no, know. no. Take your time. Uh, says here you. Lit yourself on fire? <laughs> what you go doing that for? I was, uh, protesting climate change. Oh, s sorry, that, uh... Right, no, right, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, you know, I just figured by doing that in a healthy society, people would reflect on the cause, reckon with the oncoming disastrous consequences, the media would have no choice but to cover it, and the government would finally be forced to bring about meaningful change. You know you're not the first guy that did this, right? What? Oh, you don't... You know, there's a guy like two years ago, lit himself on fire, protesting climate change, climate scientists, that guy. Why did I not hear about this? Yeah, I, I don't know. You think the media would cover something like that? Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. You know, you think they would. I mean, the guy did it outside the Supreme Court building. The Supreme Court? Are you fucking serious? Yeah, why? Is that what you did yours? I did mine in a Wendy's parking lot. Oh, God. Oh, the media's definitely not covering me if they didn't cover the Supreme Court guy. Are you kidding? Oh, well, you know, I, I think they covered it, you know. Probably like... Probably good, like, five, ten minutes at least. I doubt I got nothing. I'm, I'm rethinking this whole thing. You got me feeling like I made a huge no, mistake. I, if it's any consolation, maybe you were, like, the final straw. Really? Yeah, maybe. Could you check? What do you mean? Like, you want me to go down there and check? Could you? Are you out of your mind? No! Do you know what they did to me lately? They, they nailed me to a fucking cross. Are you kidding? Yeah. Still probably not as bad as being lit on fire, though. Oh, come on. You're going to pull that. Yeah, you're right. It's whatever. I guess I'll just never know if I made a change. Oh, fine! <laughs> Pretty nice place. You ever have these things? Yeah, a Twizzler? Yeah, I've had a Twizzler. Yeah, you know? They're really not that good. So, what? Oh, right, uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, uh, everybody just was like, let's stop polluting, you know? They really turned the ship around. I gotta say, it's looking clean down there first time. Wow, really? Yeah, I've never seen anything like it, you know? It was, people were like, enough's enough, you know? And, uh, yeah, they were calling you the next me, in fact. And, uh, <laughs> just chanting your name, chanting your name. Everybody was like, yeah, they're like, uh, you know, Mark, 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 you know. My name's Marshall. Marshall? Yeah. Spell that? M A R S H A L L. That's crazy. I've literally never seen them get that wrong. Oh, okay. I get it. I'm getting punked. Yeah, yeah, you. Actually had- did Judas post you up to this? What, what are you talking about? Okay, show's over, come on. Yo, your name's Marshall Mello. Like, Marshmallow, you roasted yourself. Oh, that's so good. Alright, I'll tell you what, though. You had me going. Uh, you, you actually got uh, me. Oh, that's actually just my name. Oh. Sorry. Yeah. Alright, uh, Marshall. Mr. Mello. Uh. You know, the rules on suicide are pretty cut and dry. I try to be as lenient as I can. 
My supervisor's kind of a stickler, though, so, uh... Yeah, just give me a minute. I'm gonna try to pull some strings for you. Dad! Dad! What? I got a guy here. He killed himself. Go to hell. He was trying to do a nice thing. He was protesting. Doesn't matter. Go to hell. God damn it. What was that? Nothing. God. You know, I think he caught him on a bad day. That sucks. That sucks. Mm. Oh, you know, also, I'm sorry. I've just, I've been meaning to ask. Uh, is there anything you can do about these burns? Because I'm in excruciating pain. <sighs> you know, we actually can't really help you unless you get it. In. Yeah, that, I figured. I just, I had to ask. You know, just give me a sec. Uh, let me think of something. I'm trying to help you out here. Oh, take your time. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, is there any chance that after you let yourself on fire, but before you died, you... Might have prayed for forgiveness. <sighs> forgiveness. Ah, oh, forgiveness, forgiveness. No, you know, I think I was just so preoccupied with being on fire. Oh, because, you know, that's like an override. You know, you could have, like, blown up a school and then prayed for forgiveness. And then I could, you know, still get you in. Ah, oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, okay, uh, before you lit yourself on fire, did you, by chance, maybe do, like, a Hail Mary or an Our Father? Because, because then... This whole thing gets transported to the Department of the Holy Ghost. And he might be able to help you out. You know, he, he's in charge of all the holy fires. You know, I'd love to lie and say that I did, but I just, I, I don't remember doing that. And I feel like I would. So, yeah, just put me down for a no. All right, in that case, you know, I might be able to uh, split your soul in half. One half to heaven, one half to hell. How's that? <sighs> Man, there's no chance of a full heaven sin. Look, buddy, I'm trying to help you out here. You know, I got a long list of people I gotta get to. All right, sorry. Yeah, yeah, fine. I'll, I'll do that. Is it gonna hurt? It's not gonna feel great. All right, head on in. Next! You too? Let me guess, climate change? Actually, genocide. Genocide? Where? Palestine. Son of a virgin. That's where I'm from. What are the Christians doing? Are they stopping it? Uh, not really. They're pretty much doing nothing. Some of them are funding it, actually. Maybe I should go back down there. What the fuck? If you go back down there, if you speak against them... Son, they'll crucify you. I can take it. No. I won't take that chance. Not again. You don't know me at all. Motherfucker I am, you. You'll need some help. I haven't spoken to him in 1400 years, but what the hell. Jesus fucking Christ. Muhammad the Prophet. All right, let's cut to the chase. What do you want from me? <sighs> Weapons, I need them. I hear you might know a thing about that. Jesus, I can't help you with that. I'm non-violent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Look, Jesus, you should know. There's new evil that's infected your churches. They call themselves conservative Christians. Oh, God. I, that's oxymoronic. It's goddamn oxy fucking retarded. Evil has evolved, Jesus. We're long past the days of talking garden snakes. The sun has returned. One of us is going to have to tell the boss. Those ghosts, those ghosts, those ghosts, those ghosts, those ghosts, those ghosts, those ghosts. You were last. Fuck. Sir, we've got a code Nazareth. Hey Alexa, add two by fours and nails to my shopping list. I've got a Jew to kill. No one ever told you you had to be their savior. Maybe you should just come home. I got your churches under my control. I've got that little whore of yours wrapped around my finger. I've got billions backing me. What do you have? Faith? You're not the kind of prophet these people worship. Forgive me, Father. But I've sinned. I lied. I'm not strong enough. Face it, Christ. You're not the man you used to be. No matter what happens, you will always be our son.
are you so <sighs> worried about? He's been dead for two days. Funny. That's what they said the last time. Oh, what'd they get? The ugliest fuck in the world to play me? And I'll tell you something else, Marge. My horns are not that pronounced. With Easter just Holy days away, Pope Francis has fucking... made a bold statement. In an interview published by an Italian newspaper, the Pope said, quote, there is no hell, there is the disappearance. Marge, get the Pope on the phone. Pope's on line one. <laughs> Francis, buddy, just because I send you pictures of my asshole doesn't mean you get to fuck me! Oh, hey, Satan. Oh, hey, how are you? What the fuck is well, this? you know, we had some cutbacks. So, cutbacks, uh... brilliant, brilliant. And this is how I find out. No, you know what, just tell me one thing. Is heaven still real? Uh, well, well, we can't give it to heaven. Right? right? No, you know what? That's just what I expected. But you don't play favorites, though, right? Everything's fine, and you don't play favorites. You still there? I don't know what to say. Trust me, you've said enough. Uh, say, I'll see you in court, you paraplegic uh, fuck! <laughs> Was that too much? That felt like a little much at the end. Oh, I hope he didn't record that. See you in court, you paraplegic fuck! Alright, look, you've been an exemplary employee for 2,400 years. At a minimum, you're entitled to some severance. And on top of that, we'll probably squeeze out a sizable wrongful termination of employment settlement, so... just heard, I'd like to give the plaintiff a chance to respond. Your Honor, allow me to play devil's advocate. Nothing. Really. Please continue with your argument. I don't really have an argument. I just... I wanted to say that. I thought it would get a laugh. Please be seated, counsel. <sighs> As we proceed with this case, which involves religious organization, it is important Just what the fuck was that? I thought it would get a laugh, all right? It killed for my wife this morning. What do I do now? Start looking for jobs, I guess. I noticed on the resume you sent us under honors and achievements, you wrote 10 inch penis. That's correct. Well, typically that's not something one puts on a resume. Well, typically you wouldn't have a 10 inch penis, so. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work out. Thanks for coming in and doing our little Zoom interview thing. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know, before I get off to the wrong start, can I just say, I do not have a 10 inch penis. Hello? I couldn't help but notice your resume doesn't say anything about the size of your penis. I can't win with you fucking people. You people? Oh, you're not black, give me a break. I just so happen to be Ecuadorian. Oh yeah. Uh Everybody knows about the great plight of the Ecuadorians. All right. What's a personal hobby of yours? Uh, trampolining. Trampolining? Yeah, trampolining. What, like jumping up and down on yeah, a trampoline? Yeah, jumping up and down on a trampoline, trampolining. I like to trampoline. You know, I'm, just, I'm not really sure if that's a hobby. How is that not a hobby? So, hypothetically, you wake up and you have a thousand emails from work. What do you do? Uh, I guess I'd read them. Okay, um, what sort of problem-solving techniques do you use? Reading? More um, abstractly and specifically, like what kind of skills would you use? I would use reading skills. But how would you read them? <laughs> With my eyes! I mean, what the fuck do you want, lady? A hobby is more like playing an instrument or a sport. A hobby is something that you enjoy doing in your pastime, and I like to trampoline, so that's a hobby. I don't know. How the Tell me what customer service means to you. Uh, I guess a Pakistani with a landline? What would you say your level of expertise is? Yeah, I'm the... sorry, can I just interrupt you? Do you mind if I use the bathroom real quick? Uh, sure, I guess we'll pause the interview and take a break. Uh, we don't have to take a break, I got a bucket Sir, right here. Sir, I would really feel more comfortable if we just pause the No, not really, it's fine. Sir! What the fuck is that not a hobby? What the, what, what the fuck are you Look, talking about? Look, I just don't about? think it counts. Yes, I pleasure myself at work. Uh, is that what you're asking? No! Tell me about a challenge you faced and how you overcame it. When I was 12, I watched my mom back over my brother in the driveway oh my and I just saw his skull fucking explode. I mean, there was blood everywhere. I am so sorry. That, that That's horrible. Yeah. Uh, how, how, do you, how do you think that you o overcame that? Oh, no. I never did. Oh. Could you please turn off the camera or stop yearning? Well, I guess if I had one weakness... I, I did not that, ask you I'm that. I started... Um, well, the question was about a challenge that, that you overcame. Well, no, I, I, I never overcame that, so. Okay. All right, if, if you do not put that away, I, I will be forced to exit this interview. 
I'm finished. What's a core philosophy of yours? I believe that you could do whatever you want to do and anything could be your hobby. Trampolining counts as a hobby, you fucking douchebag. What the fuck do you want? Stamp collecting. Now that's okay, a yeah, hobby. Okay, yeah, no, I love, to, I love to collect stamps and I fucking love stamp collecting. All right, well, now I know you're just saying that. Of course I'm just fucking saying that. Who the fuck collects stamps? I happen to collect stamps. Of course you do. You're a fucking loser. All right. That was a test to see how you might handle difficult customers. Needless to say, you did not get the job. Yeah, no shit! How did the job interview go, Sadie? Bad, Ma! Why don't you just see if your friend Tucker can get you a job, or he works? I told you he doesn't work there anymore! Well, maybe he still has connections, Sadie. <sighs> Lying, cheating, deceit, perpetrating evil, 2400 years, very good. Sodomy. That's a bonus. Ain't that the truth? This is, uh... <laughs> Outstanding. I think you'll be a great asset to us. There's just one, one matter. Um, how large is your penis? It's uh, average, below average, small, minuscule, tiny, microscopic, very, 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 very small. Great, you'll fit right in. We really appreciate you coming in, Mr. Khan. Can I call you Noah? Uh, sure, just sorry, what is this all about? Well, as you may or may not know, we recently acquired Universal Music Group, so we're just doing some housekeeping, you know, meeting with the artists, so on. Uh, we're all real big fans of your music here. We just want to make a few minor changes. And I love Vermont, but it's the season of the hicks and they steal the jobs, those illegal immigrants, so I'll turn on TV, go to Fox for my news, cause all that Liberal shit is just owned by the Jew. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, there's no way I'm saying oh, that. You, you were doing so good. What's the problem? Uh, this whole thing just feels really racist, and you know, worse than that, it, it kind of feels like I'm selling out. I don't really see it that way, but you know, if you want to skip that one, we got a bunch of different versions we got to do anyway. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll do a different one. I'm just, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm not doing that version. It's, it's moronic. Vote for Trump, but the election was fixed, and you were not. Told me the lizard people nixed it And it's Bill Gates' fault That they vaccinate the children Give them autism Let's try some fear mongering Crime rates up, yeah they're beating us with sticks And I Something for the 70 and older crowd Lost the tennis ball on the bottom of my walking stick And I How about one for the racists? And they eat our dogs, yeah those Haitian migrants And I You know, funny enough, we actually have a lot of Latino viewers See man, can't have a mind Best I dump it out of this bio, so you But we don't want to Love her mom, but there's just too many s and I Let's try one for the morons my Lord and Savior died on the crucifixion Actually, that was supposed to be Mormons, but uh, that works. Uh, let's go back to fear mongering. Then in Lincoln Park, there's yet another rapist and I One for the LGBTQ viewers. Love her mom, but not as much as sucking dicks and I Now that I think about it, our gay viewers are probably closeted. Definitely don't want to go sucking any dicks and I Maybe let's try something right in the middle. Can go either way when it comes to sucking dicks and I That's good. Uh, let's do a hypocritical throwback. Think LeBron should stay out of politics. And I Back to fear mongering. Camelage, just a dirty communist. And ah, I you know, we do have to mention Burger King at some point. The whoppers, but they give me the shit still. I get BK, cause it's worth the bathroom trips. And All right, let's try. No, you know what? I, I'm done with this shit. Uh, excuse me, we have a contract. You know what? Uh, fuck your contract, all right? You can't just manipulate my music to make it as marketable as possible to the lowest common denominator that is your inbred, idiotic, racist audience. Anybody that could stand to watch. Watch Fox News for more than 10 minutes is nothing but a fucking retard and deserves to be put down. Y you people are fucking evil. You know that? All you do is lie and spread hatred and misinformation. And, and for what? Money? Nah, yeah, I want no fucking part of this. As far as I'm concerned, you can go fuck yourself. I'm out of here. We'll give you 10 million more. Love Fox News, cause they're fair and balanced, and I watch it. Yeah,
Hey, are you still in the studio? Yeah. Well, there's been an update. Yeah, uh, look, uh, I'm gonna need 10 million more. <laughs> well, you can forget it now. We just got bought out. Bought out? By who? You know, in the fast-paced culture of today, we know just how hard it can be to own things. Which is why we don't think you should own a thing. Single-family homes are becoming too burdensome an investment for young families. Why not let us do the hard work? Simply enter one of our housing lease agreements and you'll be responsible only for the taxes, insurance, water utilities, garbage disposal, landscaping, upkeep, and repair, and we'll handle the rest. But we're not stopping there. We know how much grocery shopping has been weighing on your wallets, and we're here to help. Take for instance this apple. Sure, you could buy it now for $2, but then you're stuck with the depreciating expense of owning an apple. Or you could lease it from us for a fraction of that cost. And at the end of your 24 month lease, simply return the apple, buy out your apple lease, or enter a new apple lease agreement. We know Americans aren't the best at math, and we want to ensure you're getting the best deal possible. So we went ahead and bought up all the apples so you don't make the mistake of buying outright. And just to be safe, we did that with all the other food. With AI taking the jobs of many workers, we know job security is something on all your minds. And it's on our minds as well. But what should you do if you get laid off or replaced? Well, what if there was a new way you could earn money and grow your wealth? Well, if you could figure that out, we encourage you to pursue it. But I know what you're thinking. Don't I still own myself? What if I don't want to? Well, we've got a solution, but first we need your help. Simply go to www.overturn13.com and donate what you can while we continue our diligent lobbying work to overturn that pesky 13th Amendment. In which case, you'll be able to sell yourself to us, then lease yourself back in a compounding, incremental month-to-month -month contract. And once you're finished using your body, you won't have to deal with the expenses of owning. But what happens to my soul? Will it be free to make potentially wrong financial choices? Well, we've got that covered too. Due to recent Vatican sell-offs, we've acquired Hell, where your soul lease will automatically renew in perpetuity eternally. Now I know what you'll say. That sounds more like heaven to me. But don't worry, in the meantime, we'll be granting you your own little slice of hell right here on Earth. We're not just preparing for the future, we're owning it. Blackcock, just bend over and take it.